What's good, YouTube? It's your boy LG Two Nice back with another video, y'all. And yes, if you are a subscriber, if you've been on my page, I do have another pair of KD Fifteens. But in my defense, y'all, I've been sitting on these for months, and um, I should have been gave y'all this video. It's long overdue. I really haven't seen many videos on the internet um, going over this particular colorway. Uh, maybe mainly because. I don't believe it's officially released on Nike, so only way you can really get these now is on GOAT and StockX, um, or if you know someone, of course, you know, just backdooring them somehow, but um, yeah, y'all, very nice, again, solid shoe, great for hooping from videos I've seen. Uh, personally, I haven't been able to because I already know the shoe is too tight for me. Um, even if I tried breaking them in, I don't think it would work really at all so figured i'd just go ahead and let them go sell them let somebody else enjoy them um but let's go ahead and get into it the official color official colorway is white black and gray fog and um yes y'all it is a very nice shoe very solid shoe you can see that gray fog colorway along the um the bottom here with the nice crazy design you know great for i'm sure indoor Indoor hooping mainly. Um, if you do go outdoors, you know, to each his own. Uh, but I feel like you would really beat these up and go through them uh, extremely fast, like any other basketball shoot. But um, for this particular colorway, I don't think they would last very long, just hooping outdoors a lot with them. So um, just a suggestion. Um, but, yeah, so just kind of getting through it, going through it. Tongue, again, has those same perforated holes to help the shoe breathe. Shoes only come with um, one set of laces, these white laces. You see you got this black trimming um, along the outside of the tongue there. Uh, these guards are uh, basically like a plastic material. Um, not crazy durable. I don't know if, I imagine they probably could crack. Uh, and then you got the nice backwards Nike, Nike swoosh. Um, and then the same on the outside of the shoe. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, all the colorways have been about the same set of materials outside of the Nike swoosh. Um, there's a, uh, like a lime, limeish colorway that's on Nike now. And that swoosh is, uh, like a marble bubble look, looking feel. Um, the same with the, well, no, not the same. And the Zandriff colorway it was a yellow swoosh, and those were, it was plastic, but it was almost like they were, uh, like, slightly, it was pressed in almost. Uh, that's the vibe that it, it gave me. So, they've been playing with the Nike check, which is kind of cool. Um, outside of that, uh, all the materials are pretty much the same. You got um, this little cut of leather with a nice, uh, subtle red stitching to lock it in, which I think is a nice touch. Um. Uh, Again, the back heel is like, uh, I never did get a solid answer. I mean, I believe this is like a cotton um, material. Um, you would think the way it feels almost a brand of suede, but it's not. And um, that's pretty much it, y'all. Um, again, and then on the tongue, they got the KD in that blue. And uh, I don't even know what that color is. Don't get me lying. Um, like a limestone or something? I'm not sure. Um, so... Again, solid, very solid shoe. Give y'all a look at the inside, nothing special. I do actually like, um, I prefer myself um, black, um, black, um, black, black fabric as far as the inside of the shoe. It just, to me, lasts longer. Um, it looks better. Uh, rock a nice pair of black socks. Um, again, these are solely for hooping, but if you do try and go casual, um, in my personal opinion, I wouldn't wear pants with these. These are meant to be shown. You know, rock some basketball shorts, cargo shorts, nice hoop tee, call it a day. Um, but outside of that, you know, I would just strictly hoop in them. And that's about it, y'all. Um, nothing too crazy. You know, they got that same. Give y'all some light. Quality inspired by KD, of course, right there in the back with the, the 07. Shout out to 07. That's the year I graduated high school. You know, 
slight background. And on that note, actually, you know, with this somewhat Brooklyn themed colorway, as you all may know, the boy Steve Nash got let go from the Nets and I was hoping it would work out because that's my guy, y'all. Uh, I actually was rooting for him. They hopefully pull something through, but it just didn't work out. And um, the reason being, you know, I fuck with Steve Nash. I actually got to meet him, guys. Um, and just a quick, you know, story for y'all. When I was in high school, um, I flew out to Phoenix. Well, the whole purpose was when I was 15, I had open heart surgery. I managed to apply when well, my mom helped me apply she knew someone in the mix and managed to set me up for the whole make a wish foundation thing and so they finally granted the wish like two years later um i had several wishes y'all so it was not my sole wish just to meet steve nash i wanted to meet the eagles team at the time i think eagles were still balling out that year um so i wanted to meet um the Eagles football team. I wanted to meet Allen Iverson. Hell, I wanted to meet the GOAT. I was like, yo, set me up with MJ. And so they get they wrote all they wrote down all my suggestions. And then just how it panned out, Steve Nash was like the first open availability. And I had already been waiting two years. So I'm like, I'm not gonna wait another couple years. Who knows when who's gonna be free? And uh, yeah, they flew me out to Phoenix, got to meet that team. Um at the time, like I said, it was 06. So he was with, Steve Nash was on the team with Shaq, who was a freaking monster. Of course, anybody who's ever met him in person. Um, Amari Stoudemire, definitely a Hall of Famer. Great, great basketball player, in my opinion. Um, Barbosa, huge fan of Barbosa at the time. You know, he did his thing in the NBA for a while. Grant Hill, his old ass, you know. Fuck Duke, it's Tar Heels for life over here. But, you know, I respect him. I still respect him. And, um. And who else was on that team? Um, it was a couple other good players. Um, uh, my guy Barnes um, that does the podcast with uh, Stephen Jackson. He was actually on that team. I didn't really know who he was at the time. I don't think anybody really knew who he was at that time. But um, but he was up there and it was, you know, needless to say, it was cool to kind of reflect back and say I did meet him. Um, so, yeah, y'all. I was rooting for Steve Nash, to say the least. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Um, but just didn't work out. So hopefully the next person can come in there and help those guys get a championship. And with that being said, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please, please like, subscribe. And if you know anybody that's interested, share. You know what I'm saying? Sharing is caring. And if you care about your boy, you will bless me in that way. So nothing else to be said, guys. You know, have a good night. Stay blessed. And I hope you really enjoy this video. Peace.